Today we're gonna take a look at B-Engine for Unity. This amazing tool is aiming to bring procedural open source tools to Unity. It will allow you to bring the power of Blender geometry nodes to this game engine. The plugin offers many features such as procedural mesh generation, procedural instances generation, Unity materials and UV support, vertex colors, and much more. This is an add-on for Unity that you can run Blender geometry nodes projects through. To set up the tool, you can easily just copy the B-Engine Unity assets and place them inside your assets folder, and then go to the project settings under B-Engine section and pick the directory of Blender installation, and that's it. Now, to use the B-Engine component, you have to create your geometry node generator in Blender first and save the blend file in the assets folder. Next, create an empty object and add the B-Engine component to it. Now, you can see a file container labeled Blender file. Drag and drop your Blender file there, and now press Update Nodes button to run the Geometry Node Generator. This will create a JSON file that will contain the input values. A great feature of the B-Engine component is that you can adjust the input values directly from the Unity Editor. For example, in Blender you can expose any value that you need and can find them all under Input tab. Similarly, you can also expose outputs and settings as well. Now when you tweak the UI inputs, you can press the Run Nose button. Another great feature is that you can easily transfer materials with the ability to pass attributes to the Unity Editor to separate each material into different slots. To do so, all you have to do is simply add the B material attribute to the B Engine store named attribute node, which is not available in Blender by default. With the type integer and the domain faces in the geometry nodes, all you need to do now is change the index for each material. Using B-Engine, you can easily create one or multiple instances for your scattered objects. For instance, you can create multiple output instances for trees, grass, and so on. To create instances similar to the material workflow, you can use the store named attributes. This attribute will be passed to Unity, and they have to hold the same name. For instance, the attribute should be B underscore instance, and it is also better to use the phase domain. Back in Unity, you can just expand the output instance section and drag and drop your instances into the instances containers. And of course, you can always adjust their density, randomness, size, material, and much more. For the UV maps, you can add one or multiple UV maps, and B Engine allows you to set an attribute similar to materials and instances. And you can just add UV underscore map, UV underscore map 2 through 8 attributes to attach multiple UV maps to your objects. The domain, however, has been set to face corner and again Unity support up to 8 UV sets. This is useful if you are, for instance, creating an environment or you need multiple UV sets for the same object. Additionally, B Engine also provides a really handy function to save your mesh as a mesh or as instances to use it in different projects. Or maybe you need to create a new instance using a combination of different biomes. Overall, this add-on is a step in the right direction for procedural workflows between Blender and Unity, although it may lack a couple of features right now. The developer is promising to update the tool regularly, so if you are a game developer or you are using Unity to create your environments, this one is gonna be definitely useful for you. So if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.